Hey guys, and welcome to one of my videos. I pretty much have to do a rather quick video. So, um, welcome to my pregnancy vlog. I am 17 weeks today, and um, I am more than excited to be doing this again. So, uh, I did make a couple of videos back in January, and unfortunately, I had a miscarriage. So I decided to basically stop that all together. And the reason why I'm just now doing videos now is, if you haven't already guessed, it's because um, I didn't want to kind of make the same mistake. Not that it was a mistake because I didn't know that it was going to happen, but I didn't really want to go through the same thing again. So, so here I am, I'm doing my 17 week pregnancy vlog and I will be doing one every week until um, the baby's born and even more after that. So, um, let's see, I am having an appointment with the midwife on Tuesday and uh, I turn over a week every Wednesday so I'll be a day before my 18 weeks and hopefully um, within that week I'll also have my first ultrasound and find out what the sex is so I'm really excited about that. Um, as for symptoms in my first trimester, um, pretty much the very first signs were the most embarrassing but it was um, gas and burping. And then shortly after that, um, the whole nausea thing started and I think that started around seven, eight weeks and it lasted up until 12 weeks. Um, I also have a 20 month old daughter named Nova now. And I remember when I was pregnant with her, at least from what I can remember, um, I hardly had any nausea and I think it lasted, I had it for a short amount of time for maybe a week or two um, and then it was gone. So. I definitely feel I was more nauseous with this baby than I was, but every pregnancy is different. So I was in fact very happy that I was nauseous because I hear that that's a very good sign. Um, and I remember with my miscarriage when I was pregnant then, um, I think it happened at eight weeks, but I felt no nausea whatsoever. I only had headaches, so it kind of makes sense now. Um, but yeah, so, and then fatigue, of course, and the urination, which is still going on to today. Um, I do have frequent urination now. I can possibly sleep through the night without having to go to the restroom, um, but usually I do wake up at least once to go. Um, I'm having a hard time getting comfortable now that my belly's growing. Um, so at night I'm tossing and turning. I have a pregnancy pillow. I don't really use it. Uh, that's mainly because um, it just takes up way too much space and um, I end up just putting a pillow in between my legs and I use the pregnancy pillow during the day to prop myself up if I want to read my book or something of that sort. So now um, I'm breathless. <laughs> if you haven't noticed already, I feel very breathless again because my belly is obviously growing. So. Um, that's kind of getting hard on me, especially when I'm talking to folks, you know. Um, let's see, I've also had the round ligament pain, so, um, that hasn't been really fun. I just try to lay down and relax until it goes away and then go on about my day. Um, another thing that I've been going through is, um, I'm still tired. I still get really tired. Um, I usually go to bed shortly after I, my husband or I put Nova to bed, which is her bedtime is eight. Um, but by then I'm feeling exhausted and then I go and put her to bed. Um, I'm sorry, then I go to bed myself and I stay up, probably read a book for a little bit and then lights are out. Um, let's see, I haven't felt any movement yet. Actually, okay, I have an, an idea that I have, but I don't really remember what it was like. Um, maybe I'm just like going crazy, but I think I'll really, really know when I really can tell like he or she kicks me or punches me or something like that. But for now, I guess I can say, yeah, maybe I have, um, but nothing major. It just kind of feels like butterflies or, you know, like some gas or something like that, but I'm not really certain. Um... I've been transitioning to maternity clothes and I recently went maternity shopping so I'll probably do a video um, on a haul for that um, just on some pieces that I found and I got um, that seem to be working well for now. I think that might be all. Um, I, when I started out in the pregnancy it was about 120 pounds. I'm now 128 and a half so I've gained about eight and a half pounds um, which I feel is pretty good. 
um, for the amount of food I've been eating. When I was pregnant with Nova, I got, I gained way too much weight. I mean, my midwife even at one point was like, you probably shouldn't do that again because I think I gained like 15, 20 pounds in a month. I took that whole eating for two way too serious. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I'll definitely do a video on how my prenatal appointment goes and I'll do a gender reveal. I'm still debating on whether I want to know yet or not. Um, I know you can find out as soon as like 11, 10 weeks now that they have that like um, blood test where you can check the chromosome and they can tell you. So I opted out of that because I just, I don't know, it was just too weird for me. Um, there's something about finding out when you get to see it on the ultrasound, so. Um, anyways, let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Um, no, I think that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and do the belly shots. Let me take this off. And um, this is my 17 weeks. So, sorry guys, but this is from the front. Side. I can totally see that little bump. Um, back, other side, and the front again. So, there you have it. All right guys, so that was my belly shot and thank you so much if you've watched the video. Um, please leave any questions or comments down below and I will do my best to get back to all of you. Um, and, Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. So I'll see you in about a week. Bye guys.